In this op-ed, we're going to touch on, once again, the passport issue, particularly when it comes to black men. Now, years ago, it was said that the most dangerous black man in the world was a black man with an education and a library card. Now, in the present day, it seems that the most dangerous black man in the world is a black man with a passport. Because every time I go on YouTube, I see at least several videos about the passport brothers all day, every day. Not, 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 in, not including me, of course, but others out there on these YouTube streets. And my question to you is this, what are you all afraid of? What are you all concerned about? So you have a brother who may or may not be successful with women in the United States going abroad and exploring his options elsewhere with women, whether they be in the Philippines, whether it be in Thailand, Singapore, Japan, maybe China, maybe the UK, Australia, um, parts of Africa, the Caribbean, South America, and the list goes on and on and on. So, why is it that you all are scared of a brother with a passport? Is it because he has the ability to go to places that you wish you can? Or is it because you want to exercise your right of refusal? Assuming that the brother is unsuccessful with women in these here United States and want him to sit in a corner why you're doing monkey double backflips, shout out to coach um, Greg Adams with Chad and Tyrone. And you have all these different kids by all every Tom, Dick and Harry in the hood while he's just sitting in the corner waiting for his turn. So what, what's, what's, the, what's the issue here? What's, what's, the, what's the concern? Is it okay? He's gonna divest his um, funds. He's gonna. He's leaving the community. Um, earth, earth, earth to black folks. Earth to black folks. You're you're not gonna save every black person. And that's not to say that passport brothers that do travel aren't concerned about their community or um, don't have a level of um, black consciousness. They, they just want to see new things outside their immediate environment. And plus, I, it, it just seems like you're putting everybody in one box. And I mean, it's just not brothers that travel. I mean, they're, they're sisters that travel. And I don't see no um, sisters getting heat for going to different countries. And I know what you're going to say. Well, they're not going on sex tours. They're not, you know, looking for other men. Mm, do we know that? I mean, it's a given that if you go on vacation, whether it be foreign or domestic, that you possibly might meet somebody that you click with. That That's just, that's just a given. But it seems like um, all we want to do on these YouTube streets is stop people from living their life or having fun. I'm not saying that's what's happening, but you know, I'm I'm just, you know, giving you detractors here food for thought. Now, some of you may not be in a position to travel for whatever reason and may just be upset or want to lash out because you see people that have the ability to travel and you're feeling that you get left behind. And my, my thing is this, let them live their life, live your life. Don't try to tell other people how to live theirs or how they should conduct theirs. And if you want to be part of the process and you feel left out,
Go and get your passport. That's pretty much all I have to say. A passport is very cheap. In fact, I'm getting my passport next month. Go get your passport. Stop complaining. Get out your neighborhood. Get on a plane and see something different. You may like it. You may like being outside of your hood. But please, for the love of God, stop being afraid of the brother with a passport. He's not harming you. He's not harming the community. He's just traveling and living his life, just like what you should be doing. And that is my editorial on being afraid of the passport brothers or fear of a black passport. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. One love.